Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, what I have for you today is some awesome information regarding the cards that are going to be coming out here in the next couple of days. Uh, I have some leaked card art. So some of these cards are actually going to be in the game here in the next couple of days, and I wanted to show them for you guys. Um, this is for the Ultimate Freeze promo, obviously, so uh, or the Frozen Gift promo. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, of course, keep s staying tuned to this video right now. Otherwise, if you guys are not interested in having the gift spoiled for you, go ahead and click off right now. We are very, very confident that these are correct and that these will be in the game in the next couple of days. I think you guys are going to be pretty excited about a few of them. So let's get right into it, guys. Let's start things off here uh, with the new cards that are going to be into the game. And these are, uh, I guess they're kind of being referred to as Campus Heroes right now. We don't actually know what these are going to be called. They actually was Campus Heroes a few years ago. I want to say in Madden 13, but they haven't been back in Madden 25 or Madden 15 or up until now, at least, in Madden 16. But as you guys can see, if you take a look at them, on the left there, we have Mark Barron. On the right, we have Ryan Broyles. Um, there are also ones for uh, CJ Spiller which has already been shown in a previous video of mine. Go back and check that one out uh, from a couple of days ago. And then uh, there's also another one that is still going to be coming out of Kirk Cousins. And we haven't seen the art on that one quite yet, but that is uh, supposedly the Washington Redskins gift that a lot of you guys have been asking about. Obviously, the Mark Barron gift is the Rams gift, as we've as we've been seeing it. And then Ryan Broyles being the Lions gift. So um, obviously, Ryan Broyles is kind of weird that they have a 91 overall, um, but... If you guys don't understand, the the actual players that they have right now, Michigan State, uh, then they've got Oklahoma, and uh, let's see here, what was the other ones? Uh, Alabama, and then um, Clemson. Those are the four teams that are left right now in the college football playoffs. So um, that is, I believe, the reason that they're doing these. And it might just be a single series. It might just be these four cards that they put out. We don't really know for certain how this is going to work. But these are the ones, at least, that are going to be here in the gift. So if you guys are interested in any of those cards, this is what they're going to look like. Obviously, you guys see there, it's going to have like a, a color background. Both of these have red because both of the teams are colored red, you know, Alabama, Oklahoma. The CJ Spiller one is orange, and then I'm imagining that the Kirk Cousins one is going to be green for Michigan State. So that should give you guys a pretty good idea of at least roughly what that Kirk Cousins one is going to look like. I have no idea what these are going to go for as far as price-wise. Um, I'm kind of guessing the CJ Spiller is probably going to be the best because he's probably going to be pretty fast and uh, elusive and things like that but uh, and also have really good catching I'm not quite certain that the Ryan Broyles or the Mark Barron or the um, or the uh, Kirk Cousins are going to go for a lot of coins so you guys might want might not want to invest in those gifts I don't know though I, I mean again this is just speculation on my end as far as what they're going to go for I really have no idea but I do know that these are going to be the cards so there you have it. Those are uh, what we're being what are being referred to as the Campus Hero cards. Um, also, one other thing that I want to show on these, if you guys see up next to the S on Mark Barron and up next to the WR for Ryan Broyles, they have like a little map indicator. That's actually where the college is located. So obviously you see there Alabama for Mark Barron, uh, Oklahoma for Ryan Broyles. So uh, that's kind of cool at least. It's, it's something that you guys can uh, take a look at on the CJ Spiller one as well. Now, let's go over and let's take a look at the other ones that leaked today. And these are the uh, the flashback cards that leaked today. Vernon Davis on the left, Jason Pierre-Paul on the right. Obviously, Jason Pierre-Paul is kind of a weird one. It's a flashback to just last year. Uh, so it's really kind of interesting that they only did a one-year flashback. But... It does look like it's probably going to be a pretty solid card. It's a 94 overall defensive end, which is awesome. Also, guys, he's going to have all 10 uh, fingers on his hands, so that's kind of interesting as well. Not not that it wouldn't in the game anyway, but you guys get the joke, right? He, he blew off a finger, whatever. Um, anyway, though, what I wanted to get at here, guys, is that you are seeing the flashback items. Uh, as we are assuming right now, the one on the left, obviously, Vernon Davis is, um, we haven't seen either of, of these cards actually come out into the game. We are expecting the one on the left, obviously, the Vernon Davis to have a 49ers logo. One on the right, Jason Pierre-Paul to have a Giants logo. But as far as Madden Ultimate Team goes on console, we have not seen these items released into the game yet. So, um... You can't pull either of these, as far as I understand it, as of right now. Uh, we haven't seen any of them on the market yet. So that's that should give you an indication, guys, that there are still more gifts coming out. And these ones probably are going to be fairly valuable. Vernon Davis, I'm expecting to be pretty darn fast. 
2009 was a year where he had huge stats as well. So he's probably going to be one of the better tight ends in the game. Probably pretty big, physical, fast. Again, probably the fastest tight end in the game. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Vernon Davis's uh you know his finalized attributes look like. And Jason Pierre Paul is just going to be a monster on the D line, I think. So these are going to be two pretty good ones, I think. Uh, obviously, again, we don't know what they're going to cost when they actually do get released. Um, we have no idea what the value is going to be, and we have no idea how, exactly how rare the gifts are even going to be at this point but these are the card arts now i understand guys what you're looking at is the mobile cards but the card art should be the same or at least very very similar from mobile to console so uh, that should give you at least an idea guys of how these are going to look Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that is going to wrap things up for this one. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor. Click that like button. Also, guys, I also I also wanted to add one other thing. Um, I did actually post this information before I made this video over on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's Instagram.com forward slash insta uh, that's a quick way for me to give you guys some information as soon as i get it it's, it's much faster for me to upload things to instagram than to youtube so i've been posting some information as i've been getting it either on twitter or on instagram but hopefully that will help you guys out a little bit with your figuring out what's in each one of these gifts quest i guess so uh with that being said guys again do me a favor click that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll talk to you guys again soon Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.